Hi guys, Scarfy Spursuk here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts and reaction uh, to that news that Nangelsman is out of the race to become next Tottenham manager. Uh, before we crack into it, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and a massive thank you for 700 subs. It feels like we're on the slow road to uh, 1k, uh, but first let's get to 800 subs. Um, so yeah, appreciate that because 700 before the end of the season was the goal and we've smashed that. Big up everyone. If you like it, leave a like and feel free to get involved in the comments because I do read them and reply to the majority of them. Uh, let's crack into it. One normal day at Tottenham Hotspur is all I ask for. Honestly, you know, as, as a content creator, as a YouTuber, I'm forever busy uh, with, with Tottenham because it's never a quiet day. Never do I sit there, put my feet up and think there's going to be no content this evening. Honestly, um, does this news surprise me? No, because I know what Tottenham Hotspur and Daniel Levy are like. I, I, just, I just know them now, um, you know, know them to a T. Um, it's, it's a shame, because I, I, but I don't believe, you know, people saying that he wasn't the perfect fit for Tottenham, because I think he is the perfect fit for Tottenham. You know, look, you look at his style, you look at the players we've got, the way we need to play, the way we used to play. Players like Adoki, I think, would thrive under him. Jed Spence, I think, would thrive under him. Poro would thrive, you know, there's so many individuals, uh, and as a team, that would thrive under him. And he's probably, right now, the, one of the most exciting and top managers in world football, let alone European football. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. It, it just sums up the ambition of this club. That's what it is, the ambition of this club, right? To, to go out there and go, I'm going to give you more power over transfers. I'm going to let you have what you want because I'm sure Levy will be willing to pay that high salary like he done with Mourinho and Conte. But when it comes to giving power over transfers and then having a voice and an actual say as a manager, which every manager should have, by the way, Daniel Levy is not willing to give it. And once again, he's the problem, right? We can appoint Scott Munn, but we know he will poke his nose in, in situations like this. Am I disappointed with the news? Am I hot? Am I you know, upset? Yes, absolutely. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. As I say, you know, I just know what we're like. Um, we'll probably end up with someone like Brennan Rodgers, a manager Levy's tried to get in before, likes him. He's a manager that will never complain about the board, never complain about the lack of money. You know, we, we could be in a relegation battle and they'll come out and say, well, you know, Daniel's done a fantastic job. You know, he's, he's that type of person who's never going to be criticised. And that suits Daniel Levy to a T right now. Um, the thing that gives me a little bit of hope is that Pochettino hasn't put pen to paper with Chelsea. Well, should I say it hasn't been announced yet? Um, and that just seems, I mean, Nangelsman deal, of course, right now, I would definitely 100% be, be doing absolutely everything in my power as chairman um, to get Nangelsman at Tottenham, if not Pochettino. Uh, but right now, let's say Nangelsman won't come to Tottenham for whatever reason, then you go to Pochettino. Uh, that, that just is it's the right move. It just is the right move. But the reason it won't happen is because Daniel Levy won't accept it was a mistake sacking him in the first place and he won't accept that we've wasted the last four years because of his ego, reputation, image, whatever you want to like it. He'd be sitting here, right, thinking here tonight. We're sitting, think, sitting down thinking, oh, you know, Pochettino, that, that is the right thing, but I, I can't do this. I can't do this to my ego. I can't do this to my image. And as a businessman, as a chairman, I, I can't do this to myself. I can't accept failure. I can't accept the mistake that I've made sacking him and we've wasted four years as a football club. That doesn't look good as a businessman or a chairman. And that's the reality. I would quite like someone like Arne Slot, Feyenoord, Ruben Amaron, Sporting. I think they've both done fine jobs. I love the football. I love what they've done with individuals. Uh, Ruben Amaron, um, yeah, Ruben Amaron with um, Porro and Edwards in particular. He's completely transformed their careers. Starting Porro's career and breathing uh, Edwards' career back into life after he left us. Uh, Feyenoord, Arne Slot, fantastic job in their league. And fantastic in Europe, you know, as well. Um, you know, they've done a fantastic job. So I take them. If not, I just don't want to end up with Potter or Rogers. That is proper mid-table relegation stuff. Sad times, but it is what it is. But I, yeah, quick summary of that. Not surprised, but obviously disappointing. Sums up the ambition of this club. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. As I said at the start of the video, big up, 700 subs. Massively appreciate it. We are on the road to 1K and this channel is all about you guys. So feel free to get involved in the comments and I will get back to you. Big up. Hope you're enjoying the content. 
And don't forget to tune into this week's weekly live show, as usual, Monday, 8 p.m., joined by five special guests this time, including uh, Rachel uh, and Alfie, regulars on the channel now, so that's quite exciting. Uh, have a great evening, never a quiet day at Tottenham Hotspur, but all I ask for is one normal day, never gonna happen though, is it, as a content creator or YouTuber or a fan? Come on, you Spurs, get in there.